Hey guys, Scotty here. I'm still a little sick. I still I, I have a sore throat right now, guys. It got a little worse. I thought it was I thought it was going away because my fever went away, but then it got a little worse right now. So if I sound different, I'm sorry. It's just because I'm sick right now. I mean, my voice went really deep, guys. But um, I just wanted to come tonight and show you guys. Okay, look at all of this stuff occurring, guys. All of this stuff I've shown you the past few days, the last week or two. All of this stuff, like look at the tensions, guys. Look where things are at right now. There's even a new war front that's potentially opening. More of Israel's enemies have now joined this war against them. I mean, guys, what's next? I mean, seems like probably next Iran and all, all these other countries are going to join in. And I mean, guys, we're just seeing this. They're all preparing. They're all just every few days another one enters this war. They're all sur trying to surround Israel and guys just keep looking up right now because i truly believe we're about to leave okay all this stuff is the sign that this is the end that we're about to be out of here and so i'm telling you guys just keep looking up relying on jesus and i really think soon that bomb thing that i think is going to happen is going to happen so what i'm saying guys is, is don't give up keep relying on jesus right now because guys we've already won okay if you know him you won we're going to be out of here and so you've already won just stay with him and guys um i just want to say also if you don't know jesus please come to him right now because it takes a minute guys all you need is belief in your heart you need to confess with your mouth jesus is lord and you will be saved that's in the bible and guys do that now because you're seeing the news i'm sure you can see all this stuff i'm showing you and what everyone else is showing you and I mean, there's not much time left at all. I mean, one of these things is going to happen and it's going to escalate into the next part, which is the Great Tribulation. And the born-again Christian, the Holy Spirit-filled believer that believes in Jesus will not be here. And that's what differentiates us from everyone else in this world, guys, is that we have the Holy Spirit. None of them do because they don't accept the Messiah. So that's the reason why we're going to be gone, because we're believers. We've accepted the Messiah. So... Um, I just want to say that guys keep looking up relying on Jesus guys because we're gonna be out of here Jesus suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand He was betrayed by a friend Arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped a crown made of thorns pressed into his head bearing the cross he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with His blood He shed, the Bible says, Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. 
Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 